All right, people. Today, we're going fishing. It's cold. We got low winds. I'm gonna meet up with Patrick at the ramp here in a minute. And we're gonna do a basic guide to catching winter catfish. So stick around. morning you can see the baits still running deep but they're starting to work their way up on this ledge starting to come up on this flat so we're gonna see if we can intercept them on our first spot marked a few really good fish it's a decent fish right there see that swim bladder there's another good one right there got bluebird skies rising tides sun's getting high but it's still cold out here these fish are cold-blooded but it does slow them down a little bit. I like to take the backbone off of my fish. Why well, I like to do that one, see how much blood that's releasing right there? Just puts a little bit of extra scent in the water, but it also minimizes your bait, which is gonna help your hookups. Some of my biggest fish that I've ever caught have been off a piece of bait, just like this. That old saying, big bait, big fish, holds some truth. In certain times of the year, I do use bigger pieces of bait. When I'm out on the Tennessee River, I use them big chunks of uh, skipjack. But 90% of the time, less is more. And I've said it once, and I'll say it again, elephants like peanuts. It's a good little size right here. It's not too big. If we got a, a lethargic bite, or a bite where they're biting a little bit funny, this smaller piece of bait is gonna give us a better hookup because it doesn't have as much for those fish to come up and grab. Moving on. Did you see him? That didn't take long. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Good little first chunky fish for boy. The day. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, that's a good one. White color. He's been a little bit deeper. There he goes. Crank. That was a nice slow pull down, dude. <laughs> we still got that fish right there in the net. Oh yeah, that's a good one. pound hole yeah. today can't complain though no not at all that's probably the best one of the day so far yeah he's probably about even 30. though they keep looking like the yeah. same one he's about 35 pounds yeah. he oh burped. he burped do you hear that i don't know if he got that on the camera that's a good fish right there yeah, probably about yeah. 30, 30, 35, something yeah. around that range. Mid-30s. That's a good fish. Man. Beautiful white color. Let's go ahead and get him back. He's gone. Uh-oh. There he goes. I was like, dang, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to go get him. Oh, get him on the board. Get him. You might just need to leave the camera on. Yeah. <laughs> if it's 
gonna happen this way. You got him in a tree? No, oh, he's coming. He feels like he's got a little more weight to this one. Is that what it is? It looks like you were. Are you sure he's not in a tree? He's coming. I swear, it looks like you're you're hung up in a big structure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feel good? Yeah, he's feeling better. He is taking a little drag, isn't he? It's so hard to tell when they're behind the boat and yeah. what they're on the boat. <laughs> Heck yeah. Making quick work of them today. Quick work. That fish is definitely at least 40, low yeah, 40s. 40 something. That's a good fish. Decent one. Thinking that myself, I was like, man, we haven't taken any pictures today. I mean, I'm not stressing it, but like, get one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a solid fish right there. A little bit darker. A little bit darker. He's still been deep. He's got a little wound on his back. Yeah. Been down there amongst them. Oh man, I love this wintertime fishing. Other than the fact that it's cold. <laughs> yeah, having them. Man, I thought we were fishing. I didn't think we were going to the gym. <laughs> Smallest fish of the day. Yeah. Is the net though? Or? I don't think so. He is fat. Did you see that? Holy crap. <sighs> Leave it to me to catch the smallest fish of the day. Dude, he's a fatty. Like, this is crazy. Look at that belly. <sighs> Probably about a 30 incher and. 25 pounds yeah like this is like the perfect under i'm a you know what i'm curious we're gonna put him on the bump board real quick i'm kind of curious if this would be an under in a tournament and then we're gonna weigh him because this is like probably as good as it gets <laughs> talk about close you can literally you cannot get a better under than that other than the fact that today isn't a tournament and if this was a tournament, we probably wouldn't catch this fish. We say we go ahead and relocate and get these rods up. And we start to start to get a little bit shallow. I can't like 
<laughs> he spooked that thing, didn't he? I heard it. I thought something up front fell. That's what I was. I was looking around. I said, "What the heck is that?" Great fish, guys. He smoked that real dude. Yeah. See how dark this fish is in comparison to the mother fish we were catching this morning? And I'm there getting in the suntan. Now, we moved up shallow, and I want to kind of talk about why I moved up shallow. You know, this is a, a basic guide to catching wintertime catfish, and I feel like this is a really important topic. You hear a lot of people talking about fishing deep in the winter. And fishing deep is great. Fishing deep can work out can work out really well sometimes. But what I find a lot of times where you find your big congregations of fish in that deep water, a lot of times those fish aren't active. Sometimes you can sit on them and wait on them. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. This morning we didn't necessarily sit in a hole. We just worked a ledge coming up onto a flat. We caught a lot of fish. What was it, about five, six fish? Six or seven, I believe. Six, seven fish, pretty fast. And that's because we timed it right and we just caught those fish right in that transition. So basically, we intercepted them. Bite kind of slowed down there a little bit. We decided to move shallow to intercept what the fish were doing next. Now, not all fish are going to go shallow during the winter. That's not what I'm saying. But the fish that do go shallow are going to be far more active, going to be more productive. Fish that are coming up here, they're coming up here to eat. They're coming up here to warm up on the flats. Now these are cold-blooded creatures, but just like we're sitting here right now, and I got my bibs on, Patrick's got his waders on, and as we're sitting here in the sun, I can feel the sun's UV rays penetrating my bibs right now, and it's warming the inside of my clothes up. It's the same principle. These fish are coming up here, they soak, they chase bait, now this isn't a rule all thing, you know, there's going to be days where it's really overcast and cloudy and really cold and chances are you're not going to find these fish up on these shallow flats. But days like today, they will and you're going to catch them if they're here. Yep, yeah, there he is. You tied one? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see him blow up? He jumped out the water. <laughs> Out of the water. Yeah, I know. He like almost a, made like it all a the freaking way. tuna. <laughs> that was crazy. And this one's completely blacked out, so I kind of think he's going there too. This is a real dark fish. Yeah, I don't know what he thought he was. Yeah, he thought he was a freaking toony fish. There's a double right here. Pissed off. Got him? Oh, you missed him. Jumped out of the net. <laughs> oh man. I mean, that's the only thing that I hate about three ways. Did it? No, he swam back out. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got him? Yeah. Oh, you, you're pulling him more than I am now. 
<laughs> oh man. Cut that out. Oh, this makes a good video, man. Chaos. Did you get him? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Wait, that ain't a good way to end the day. <laughs> I don't know what else is. <laughs> well, if that ain't a great way to cap out the day, I don't know what else is. I hope you guys enjoyed. A basic guide to catch a winter catfish. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, tight lines. Right